Hey everyone, it's Brandy and welcome back to my channel, Brandy Janae's Bookshelf. Today I'm here to film my unboxing for the February Manga Spice Cafe box. <music> So as usual, this box didn't get here until about halfway through March, but honestly that's completely fine because I know that I'm not going to read the stuff right away anyway. I'm not going to waste any time, I'm just going to jump right into the box. I don't know if you guys are curious, but when we open it, it looks like this and the little booklet is right on top and then it's some colored paper and then of course. Uh oh, stuff is falling out. Underneath is all of the snacks and stuff. So I found out that at the beginning of this, cause I think I was talking about how I didn't see a theme when I did last month's unboxing. There is actually a theme, I just didn't read it. Um, and I found it this month cause I looked at the little booklet beforehand and it's just, it, there's a lot going on and I was just like, I don't know where to look. So right up top, if you ever get this, this little thing here with like the little maid, this little box here actually gives information about, I guess the theme here. So it says, hi, I'm Pixelated Maid Michan. Are you ready for some fun and games? Inside you'll find a bunch of video game related manga and Asian snacks with noodle noodles and drink and for the first time ever we've included a manhwa enjoy and if you don't know a manhwa is a korean comic i think is it korean yes uh, a south korean comic so it's the the korean version of a manga since the snacks are on top i will be starting off with the snacks obviously i'm not going to know everything because some of the things are not in english but i will do my best to go over everything as clearly as possible the first thing which is what fell out of the box was the pair of chopsticks that they send because of the noodles and because of that i will just start with the noodles here is what the pack of noodles that we received this month is and it says that this is Indomie I think that's the brand uh, which is an instant noodle that is produced in Indonesia the next thing that I'm seeing here is it looks like cheese puff or maybe cheese rings yeah I think it's cheese rings and it just says cheese flavored snack and here is what that looks like and we have a character on here. I really don't know who this character is. And it looks like these are actually made in the Philippines. The next thing is this little package here. And it looks like it's just an assortment of gummy candies. I have five different of these little packets here. We have a grape one. We have muscat, which I'm not really sure what that is. Is that a different type of grape? Because it looks like a grape on the package. Like it literally looks like the same grape on this one, just it's green. So I'm going to have to look that up because I don't know what muscat is. And then we also have an apple gummy. Um, I'm not sure if I said, but I did say that I got five. I had two of the apples, two muscat, and then one of the grape. And then we got two more of these umaibo, I think is how you say that. And I'm guessing we're going to have two of these possibly in every month's box. Okay, so it says these two are nori and rusk flavor. One with the taste of seaweed and potatoes and the other with the taste of sweet and bread, buttery fried bread. The next thing here is this chocolate wafer. Um, it just looks like a wafer with two cho with chocolate in the middle of it if you can see that up here. And it's Pokemon theme and I think on the package or in the little thing here it says that they come with stickers. I'm not going to open that right now but that's cute. And I guess to go along with that I will go ahead and open up this. It, this is like a Mario Mario Kart mystery item box in this racing cup candy tin. So it looks like I got the winner's cup tin or at least that's what it says on the back here. And supposedly inside of this it's fruit candy. Okay I was looking on the package to see if there was anything special about these but it looks like it's just a pack of 
cookies. It's like chocolate cookies with a vanilla cream in it. It looks like these were actually manufactured manufactured in the Philippines. The last food related item in here is actually the drink because every month comes with noodles, a drink, and then the rest of the snacks as well. And this is a non-carbonated soft drink and the brand looks like Calippo, if I'm saying that correctly. And it looks like it says that this is a milk soft drink with a refreshing, fascinating combination of sweet, tangy flavor with a smooth texture. Okay. Um, most likely I'm going to be sharing this because I'm not a fan of milk. But it sounds like there are some other things mixed in with it. But I will try it. Never had like a canned milk drink before so that should be interesting and like i mentioned if you guys are curious about me trying the stuff on camera just let me know and i will take the time to do that i just haven't been because i don't know if people would be interested in, in watching me eat stuff on cameras and the last thing in the box is the mangas but before i get into that i wanted to say i was thinking about trying to do like a have it where I read the mangas and then attach that to the end of the unboxing. I'm probably not going to be able to do that in this video because I want to get this up next week because I don't have anything else filmed. But in the future going forward if you would like to see that where I review the mangas in the unboxing video let me know because I was thinking about doing that as well. I might just do it anyway um, just make sure that I am prepped ahead of time. But yeah I was just thinking about that because I feel like it would be easier than just going over the mangas and then just leaving them but at the same time I don't know because looking at the volumes of manga that are included in here I feel like two of them I'm not really that interested in but we'll see we'll see okay let me open these and then I will show them off to you guys I'm gonna start off with the two mystery mangas and leave off or leave the one that was featured for last but the first one that we have here is super mario manga mania story and art by y yukio sawada and it looks like it's just a manga that is stories based on super mario games this type of thing which i will probably mention with the other one as well i don't know how interested i would be in it because i don't know how i feel about mangas that are centered around video games like it's just not something that I am personally interested in I will give it a try but no promises that I will finish the whole thing and then the other mystery manga that was in this month's box is Pokemon Me Too Strikes Back Evolution yes Evolution and story and art is by Machido Gomi it looks like this is a story that is based in the Pokemon world and things like that I was into Pokemon when I was younger but I never really delved all the way into the storyline so I don't know enough I feel like about this to just go into it I'm sure I can just start it and it'll be fine but once again it's another thing where I'm like Good idea, not something that I'm personally interested in. I almost forgot to mention, but the Pokemon one did come with two Pokemon stickers. So, or not Pokemon, Pikachu stickers. Lord Jesus, it's been a while. But those are super cute. I'll probably end up keeping those and putting them somewhere. But that was a nice addition to include, you know, with the Pokemon one. Anyway, the final manga or manhwa, I should say, that was included in this one was Solo Level 1 or solo leveling volume one by Chugong. I think I saw that this was originally a web comic and it was translated and published as a manhwa and it's actually in full color which is nice. Um, I guess I can read the description of this one. It says known as the weakest hunter of all mankind, E-rank hunter Jin Woo Sung's contribution to raids amounts to trying not to get killed. Unfortunately, between his mother's hospital bills, his sister's tuition, and his own lack of job prospects, he has no choice but to continue to put his life on the line. So when an opportunity arises for a bigger payout, he takes it. Only to come face to face with the being whose power outranks anything he's ever seen. With the party leader missing an arm and the only healer a quivering mess, can Jin, Jin Woo 
somehow find the way out that was everything that we got in here if you guys are curious there is already information regarding the next box or, or the march box i believe at this point hopefully by the time that this video goes up they are still available but on the back of here we do have a spoiler alert which is going to be the manga that is in next month's box or one of them so it looks like we have an omnibus edition of shaman king so it is volumes one through three which is one of the mangas that will be included in next month's box so yeah there's that and i think if you go to either their website or instagram or maybe both i think they do also spoil the drink that will be in the box as well so if you're curious about that you can definitely go check out all of that information or go check out their links which i will leave down below for more information on that but i am pretty happy with this i'm really excited to try all the snacks um i don't think there's anything okay well the only thing that i'm kind of worried about is the drink because it's like a milk drink but i'm curious so we'll see but yeah I think <laughs> I think that's all I have for this video if you liked it give it a thumbs up and if you would like to see more from me make sure you subscribe thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you again in the next one bye